Dr. Emma Derbyshire, registered public health nutritionist after a few too many wines or pina coladas I have plenty of water and dippy egg on toast.6. An egg mayo sandwich Kim Pearson, nutritionist working in partnership with Better Yapperidge, free-range egg mayo sandwich on granary bread or smoked haddock fish cakes. It depends on the time of the day and how hungover I am 7. Smoked salmon, eggs and asparagus Faye Townsend, nutritionist at Protein World Often after a night of heavy drinking, I crave a greasy fry-up, but I can't stomach it. In the past, I've gone to the nearest cafe to my house and gorged, but this food always irritates my stomach and makes me feel bad for the rest of the day. The reason we get typical hangover symptoms such as headaches, nausea, achy muscles and diarrhea is mainly because we are dehydrated. Alcohol has a diuretic effect which flushes you out, so water is essential to help cure a hangover. I try to stay hydrated on a night out by having water in between alcoholic drinks before I go to sleep and when I wake up in the morning. Loss of appetite is common after a night out, but it's important to restore your blood sugar levels and electrolytes. Smoked salmon, eggs and asparagus would be my ideal hangover breakfast. Eggs contain two amino acids taurine and cystine which help to fight the hangovers. Taurine has been shown to reverse the effect of alcohol damage on the liver by flushing out toxins quicker, and cystine helps to break down acetaldehyde, which is a byproduct of alcohol metabolism. Acetaldehyde is more toxic than alcohol itself, and it's the component responsible for those terrible hangovers. 8. Eggs on Toast Alexis Pool, Registered Associate Nutritionist and Nutrition Manager at Spoon Guru Eggs on Toast. I love a plain and simple meal after a night out, and eggs on toast never fails to disappoint. Eggs are one of the most nutritious foods on the planet. A large single egg will contain vitamin A, D, E, K, B12, B2, B5, folate, phosphorus, selenium, calcium and zinc as well as 6 grams of protein all for only 77 calories. Notorious for their high cholesterol content, eggs have received some bad press in the past. However, despite the fact that eggs are naturally high in cholesterol research indicates that the amount of saturated fat we eat will affect our blood cholesterol more so than the cholesterol that comes from eggs. Another misconception is the idea that bread and carbohydrates as a whole are bad for you. Carbohydrates are a broad category. The government recommends that we cut down on the amount of free sugars, which is the simplest form of carbohydrate, in our diet. Free sugars are sugars that are added to food or drinks and includes sugars in biscuits, chocolate, flavored yogurts, breakfast cereals and soft drinks. Sugars in honey, syrups agave, maple and golden, and fruit juices and smoothies also count as free sugars. Sugars found in milk, Fruit and vegetables do not count as free sugars, so we don't need to be cutting down on these, however we should still be aware that these contribute to total sugar intake. Other types of carbohydrates such as starches and whole grain varieties, which includes bread as well as potatoes and other grains, should form the basis of our meals. Fiber, which is another type of carbohydrate, is good for our health and there is strong evidence to support this. Having bread, hungover or not, is not a bad thing.